From the International Science School Lectures, this is Dr. Barry Brook on Extinction, Past and Present. It is part one of his necessary but depressing outline of one of the greatest extinction events of all time. The cause is not an asteroid or volcanic eruptions. It is human civilization. more and more of us each year. For hundreds of thousands of years, the human population was very low. At most, there were a couple of million people. Then, over the last few thousand years, the human population may be increased to 100 million. And then, over the course of the 20th century, it's exploded to 6 billion. And it's projected, these are various projections, which all carry a burden of uncertainty, but it's projected that the human population will be anywhere between 14 billion, or maybe have maintained its current number at about 6 billion after peaking at about 9 billion by mid-century. However you read that, there's going to be a lot of us around for the rest of this century, unless something really catastrophic occurs. And our technology is continually advancing, we're getting the developing world, introducing new technologies that may have existed in Europe and North America and Australia, are now being used in uh, developing countries and having a major impact on those areas where there's still a lot of residual biodiversity. So we're seeing a new shock, we're seeing lots of new threatened species. If you're interested in finding out more about threatened species, incidentally, you look in the chapter of the book, there's a number of links there, including one to the IUCN Red List, which lists all of the species that are threatened right now um, and the processes that are causing those threats. It's quite an interesting website. So that's us doing that now. We are the new shock. If you look back in the distant past, there's been occasional events. We've had those mass extinctions, spectacular losses of species. But for most of the time, we maybe only lost one species every, every year. Out of perhaps 100 million species, one species a year is almost undetectable. Then humans started to spread throughout the globe in, in um, pre-industrial times, caused major extinction. So a step up maybe of a thousand fold in the background extinction rate. Now in the future, it could be that we'll step that up to 10,000 fold, maybe even more. So this century, I would consider, is a century of consequences, in that the consequences of our development and of our spread throughout the world and our new technology is really going to start to bite biodiversity in a big way. And we could be heading to what's been termed the sixth extinction. Had the big fire before, this is the big sixth. And it's caused by another random shock, and that shock is us. So if you think back to some of the major drivers of mass extinction in the past, or changes in biodiversity, this is an example of different scales of changes in climate over time. Well, this big, magnificent one here, which is occurring at a rate maybe a hundred times faster than it ever has in the past, and potentially at a magnitude as great as it's ever occurred in the past, that's us. And that's only one of the things we're doing. So, that and many more lovely things that we're doing to our planet this century and beyond is what I'll talk about tomorrow. Now I'm happy to question.